We start this problem by drawing ourselves a free body diagram. The forces acting on the sledge are the force of gravity, mg, which is acting vertically downwards, and the normal reaction force, n, which is perpendicular to the slope. We choose our axes in this case to be the x-axis along the direction of the slope and the y-axis perpendicular to the slope. We can then resolve the gravitational force, mg, into two components, one along the slope, mg sine alpha, and one perpendicular to the slope, mg cos alpha. Now, because there is no acceleration perpendicular to the slope, we don't need to concern ourselves about n and mg cos alpha because basically they cancel one another out. So the only force, resultant force acting on our sledge is mg sine alpha acting down the slope. We now put that resultant force into Newton's second law equation, which gives us mg sine alpha equals mAx, where Ax is the acceleration down the slope. Cancelling both sides by m gives us finally Ax equals g sine alpha.